ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री सरस्वत्य नम ओम श्री गुरभ्यो नम समस्त जन कल्याण निरत करुणा नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर यो अंत प्रवेश मम वाच मीमांसुप्ता संजीवय क्लशक्तिधर स्वधाश हस्तचरण श्रवण तदादी प्राणा नमो भगवते पुषा तुभ्यम प्राणा नमो भगवते पुषा तुभ्यम समचरण सरोज सांद्रनीलांबुदाभम जघन निहित पाणी मंदन मंदना तरुण तुसी माला कंधर कंजने सदय धवलहास सदय धवलहास विठल चिंत विठल चिंत and we have seen first 73 ovs tonight we'll start from 74 there were many great sages of profound knowledge but among them narayana was the avatar or divine manifestation of vishnu you can mute yourself ji i am going to tell you the strange story of what happened in his life please listen इंद्रो विशंख्य मम धाम जिगुक्षती तामुत सगण स बदर्युपाख्यम गो गण वसत सुमंदवात स्त्री प्रेक्षण शुभिर विध्यत महिम्य स्त्री प्रेक्षण शुभिर विध्यत महिम्य मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्स suspecting that the sage narayana desired to take possession of his domain indra sent kamadeva the god of love with his attendants to badarika ashram kamadeva did not know his prowess and he went there with a bevy of celestial damsels soft breezes and the spring season and tried to disturb his mind with the arrows of amorous glances of those dancers ov 75 the god indra was afraid by knowing the power the determination and the severe penance of narayana he thought this narayana being sinless will surely conquer my heaven 76 when he saw the steady penance of narayana he thought gone gone is my status and position of king of heaven so being inwardly very angry he sent the cupid with a group of apsaras divine dancers to confront and seduce narayana 77 there were apsaras with the cupid but also there was the season spring an anger which often destroys the great men of penance was in front of all leading others 78 one may perform even very lengthy course of ritual lord yagnya but as soon as anger enters one's mind it makes the penance futile anger is the arch enemy of men of penance he denudes them in various ways he also went ahead of all in order to defeat narayana 80 he means anger having sworn to be victorious all this group came to badrika ashrama where narayana was in deep concentration and they set about creating mischief to trouble him 81 the spring introduced the season of flowery fragrance throughout the forest the birds kokilas began to sing in their thin melodious notes 
The breeze carrying fragrance with coolness began to blow and the pollen was profuse in every flower. 82. There began the humming of blue beetles and the Apsaras began to sing amorous songs and began to provoke passions by enticing and captivating stances. 83. But Narayana was not at all disturbed by passion, nor the anger had any success in disturbing him and went back with shame. 84. Then the Cupid set about attracting the attention of Narayana by meaningful glances of the divine fairies. But Narayana was not moved a bit. 85. Just as the star is not at all hurt, even when a sharp weapon is hit at it, similarly, though the Cupid tried to harass Narayana, the sage remained calm and without any notion of duality, as he was completely merged in the trance of the bliss of the reality. 86. When the serpent that emits the fire cannot swallow by his mouth without burning it, similarly, before the vision of Narayana, the passionate urges of the fairies were killed. 87. Without knowing the power of Narayana, the Cupid attacked him, but in vain. So all of them were ashamed of their crooked intentions and dirty business. 88. All of them shamefully put down their hands. Narayana saw how their efforts were unsuccessful. 89. Narayana is the controller of sense organs, but they did not know it and had gone to harass him. However, though defeated, they had no power to go back. 90. When they realized that they could not neither go ahead with their efforts nor retreat, they were all very much afraid and began to tremble with apprehension. 91. They knew that it was the power of Narayana which made their efforts futile and being afraid of a possible curse of that sage, they were completely powerless. 92. Narayana, who is the image of pity itself, felt sorry for them. He was not angry, but thought very kindly about them. Wonderful was his peace of mind. Vidnyaya Shakra Kurta Makra Mamadi Devaha Praha Prahasya Gata Vismaya Ejamanan Mabhaishta Bho Madana Marta Deva Vadho Prunhatano Balisham Balim Ashunya Mimankurudvam Meaning of the verse Narayana, knowing that Indra had tried to do wrong, loudly laughed and without surprise or haughtiness said to the trembling visitors about to go back, O Kamadeva, O Wind God and celestial young girls, do not be afraid. Accept our hospitality and fill this hermitage by your presence. 93. Though this was the mischief played by Indra, Narayana was very peaceful by nature. He did not get angry with him, nor grudge against the Cupid and others. 94. He was not angry with any of them. Nor did he curse Indra by their harassment. There was no disturbance or doubts in the mind of Narayana. 95. One who gets angry with another doing any harm gets into trouble because of the anger. But one who forgives and does a good turn to the wrongdoer is really on the path of spiritual development. 96. Peace is that which enables a man to help those who do harm to us. Narayan gave them an example by his behavior. 97. The main sign of spiritual life is the state of peace and inward tranquility of the heart. And in the behavior of Narayana, it becomes evident. 98. The Cupid and the season of spring and the cool breeze were afraid. The divine dancers were doubtful about what might happen. But Narayana gave them assurance and said, 99, Oh, the Cupid and honorable spring season and others, since you have come and your feet have touched this ground of this ashrama and made it sacred, 100, though you have come here casually, you deserve to be welcomed and worshipped by us. That is a proper of our code of Kandha. So please accept some offerings. 101. O oh, the divine Apsaras, the divine lady folk, please do not fear at all. 
all of you are respectable for me. 102. If a guest or a visitor who comes to our ashram is not worshipped by anybody and they are not respected, the merit of the host is lost and the ashram becomes as if deserted. 103. So if you do not accept our worship and go away without receiving our offerings, this ashrama will be, become arid and therefore we request you to please receive things which are being offered. 104. If a visitor comes to the ashrama, he is he's worth worshipping by all. And even the Lord Shankara has praised the fame of such an ashram where the guest is honoured. 105. If the relatives-in-law are annoyed and start to go back, the householder humbly bows before them. Similarly, if the visitor is going back unattended, the inmates who bring him back with honour and propitiate him, bow before him and make him happy, are themselves also very happy. 106. If the relative-in-law is annoyed, the maximum action he may take will be that he will not send your daughter to your house. But if the visitor is annoyed, all the heaps of merit earned in the past are suddenly destroyed. 107. It may be said that he, Lord of Vaikuntha, will come to the side in that ashram where visitors are worshipped as if they are Brahman. 108. Narayana spoke like this. But there was no pride in his mind about his inner peace. 109. O oh king, please listen. When a man is totally peaceful but is not proud about his faith, is really the god of the gods. 110. Thus, Narayana welcomed as guests the passion as well as anger which make god and men dance and the yogis leave their penance being afraid of them. Itham Meaning of the verse. O King, when Narayana reassured them not to be afraid and spoke, thus the Cupid and the other gods bent their heads with shame and said to the merciful Lord, If you remain unaffected, it is no matter of surprise as you are beyond Maya and not subject to any change. Your lotus feet are adored by hosts of sages who have conquered their senses and revel in the cell. 111. Thus, Narayana reassured them and spoke kindly to them, which caused the Cupid, the anger, the spring season, the fairies and others to put their heads down due to shame. 112. They thought... After seeing the great undisturbed state of his mind with natural quality of forgiveness, that he was not any other sage but Paramatman, and they themselves began to sing about his greatness. 113. O oh, the great emperor, O oh, the sovereign Mahatma beyond the body, the Cupid and the others began to praise Narayana with great devotion. 114. Those who are famous for their capacity to trouble all people at all times, began to sing profusely about the peace of the great sage Narayana. 115. This praise was motivated to please him and to create in his mind a sense of compassion and kindness. 116. They said, O oh, the God of the gods, victory to you. Such a peace like yours, which is without desire or anger, is not found anywhere in gods as well as men. 117. Cupid said, When I prevailed in the mind of Brahma, he ran to catch his own daughter. What did Parashara do? In the broad daylight, he had enjoyed a girl having bad smell to her body. 118. The Lord Shankara, whom all the yogis salute all the time, who is a foremost among yogis, ran after Monili, and in the wake of his desire for her, his amen was ejaculated. 119. The Lord Vishnu became mad for Vrinda and waited for her in the cemetery. The story of Ahalya is very famous. In the mythological and Vedic lore. 120. Narada did not listen to me, and he had 60 sons. There is nobody in the world that can withstand my force. 121. Maruti was very proud of his bachelorhood, but I so arranged things that Makaradhvaja was born from his sweat without actual intercourse with any woman. 122. I made moon full of blots on her face 
Because of me, the god Indra had thousand symbols of female sex on his body. And Karatika Swami, the beloved son of Lord Shankara, ran away out of fear of women and remained hidden in a cave. One, two, three. When gods and demons cannot contain my cupid's force, what men do? What can men do? One, two, four. Lord Shankara burnt me, but I had made him lose his self-control. But I have not found such a determined, peaceful state like yours anywhere in the three worlds. One, two, five. You have conquered me, the cupid, and in that you have assured the advent of peace. Only you and you alone are so much successful in defeating us by your inner serenity. One, two, six. You have defeated me, the anger, and also crushed the pride of desire. One, two, seven. O Narayana, there may be many great yogis doing penance, but they will not be able to attain the state of peace. You have spread the great divine peace in the world by your own example of self-knowledge. One, two, eight. Many yogis are reported to have conquered the desire and anger, but actually we have brought them to sorrow due to their failure. I'm telling you frankly their names. One to nine. Take the example of Kapila Muni. Anger had defeated him also. While cursing Sagara and thousands of his progeny, he was overpowered by anger. One thirty. Narada was very angry. He gave curse to Nalakubara and turned him into a tree. Gautama became so angry with his wife Ahalya and he turned her into a big stone in the forest. One three one. Ganesh always removes the calamities of all devotees, but anger had prevailed upon him also. He was angry with the moon and cursed him that nobody would see his face and if somebody looks at him, he would be charged falsely of theft. One three two. Durvasa was angry and cursed Ambarisha and compelled God to take birds. This anger has harassed many great sages. One three three. Those who can create parallel worlds are also liable to fall prey to desire and anger. The Puranas have already narrated the incidents when the god Indra became angry and his whole richness had fallen into the sea. One three four. Why go into details of others' angers or desire? When the Lord Shankara was overpowered by anger, he directed Virabhadra to destroy the Yatnya and kill Daksha. One, three, five. Wherever I as Cupid get busy, there gradually anger also enters. But oh Narayana, you have turned me and the anger into non-entity. One, three, six. Oh Narayana, you have such a great willpower. Others do not have this. And therefore, Many great sages are serving your feet. 137. O oh, the God of Gods, those who serve you with an aim to attain peace, experience that by remembering your main heaven. They can be victorious over us, the desire and the anger. 138. Sages generally behave like a particular way. Sages generally behave in a particular way. When their desire is easily fulfilled, they give benediction without much fuss. But where their desire or wish is not satisfied with honor, etc., they become red with anger and curse the offenders. 139. Persons who are thus capable of giving blessings or curse are generally, as a rule, full of desire and anger. But what you have done is really extraordinary. By your peace, you have conquered desire and anger. 140. Not only this, but you are not at all proud that you are so humble. You are not considering low those who have harassed you and you are not neglecting them. 141. The farmers put a yoke in the land and thus give pain to the earth, but the earth gives plenty of grains and makes the farmers happy. Similarly, one who obliges a person who actually gives him trouble may be considered as the crown on the head of liberation itself. 142. Oh, the image of kindness. It is no wonder that there is profound peace in you. We have only now understood your real state. 143. Oh, you are without parallel, beyond the gunas and beyond the maya. You are the absolute Brahman. If your name is uttered casually, the desire cannot touch even the man who is very passionate. 144. 
one who always remembers your name, Narayana. I myself being Cupid, make that man devoid of any desires. And my friend, anger subdues, anger itself. The enticement, the allurement itself becomes self-knowledge. 145. Those who are always completely satisfied and happy in themselves because of their inner peace and have great courage, stand in a queue to get a chance to bow before your feet. 146. The group of great siddhas and adepts runs forward with the hope to salute you most humbly, but due to the crowd of your devotees, they cannot find a way towards you. You are the greatest Guru, the Paramatman. 147. When any calamity tries to confront your servants, it becomes lame and powerless. How can it reach them and on what strength? Beautiful. I think we can pause over there for today. Some exclusive reading. Uh, I felt while reading, I was identifying myself so many so much and the areas to repair, like we blame others and we get angry. But we can hold our ground if we are so much peaceful. Always we said, because of this, I got angry. Because of he, because of her, because of him and this and circumstance. Otherwise, I, otherwise I'm good. So we never put ourselves um, down. That is again one of our antaras that well. It is always because of somebody and somebody is not doing something or did something, the anger comes. But here we see this Mahamuni Narayana that his tapasya is being tried to, you know, they try to penetrate his tapasya and reduce it to nothing. But he has his own quality and they couldn't reduce his anything. Uh, in fact, he was treating after that and giving them respect. But for us, it doesn't come like that. If you have done me this wrong, I will curse you so much that your generations come wrong, your children become this, you did this, you did that. So much grudge we have. And if we can't do to them physically, we put it into our mind and do that action in our mind on such people who make us angry so much. So here it is that how not to get angry also and not only that, how to forgive that other person and also treat that with compassion and your original nature, you don't leave it uh, affected by anything and you remain just that. So this was a very, very beautiful reading on a personal level also and very inspiring and that whole thing, somewhere I just uh, struck and I went forward Peace is that, what, uh, it was in uh, 96. Peace is that which enables a man to help those who do harm to us. So that definition of peace was very nice. So you are so much at peace that you are thinking only good to do to even the people who are coming. So that was very beautiful. And one was at 78. One may perform very, even very lengthy course of ritual yadnya, but as soon as their anger enters one's mind, it makes the penance futile. So many times it happens that we think we are, you know, very, very good, pious and all, but the anger definitely enters at some point. Maybe at not during the yadnya, but some point. So whatever goodness we have achieved, all the punya, that line, that OV shows number 78, um, that it just washes down the <laughs> brain, everything, all goodness that we have done. It's a beautiful reading. If anybody has any other thoughts. Uh, yeah, one thought had come. Where I read for that, that time I thought I should uh, talk about it. Mm. Uh, in uh, one two two, when Kartik Swami, the beloved son, ran away out of fear of women and remained hidden in a cave. Okay, so in South, uh, everybody goes uh, to Kartik Swami's temple, Muruga's temple. But in North, uh, especially in Pune, I have seen a practice uh, that uh, women are not allowed in uh, Kartik Swami's temple. So, uh, 
and one year one day in the year is there where you can uh, the women can enter the temple of murugan otherwise uh, we are not allowed to enter a kartik swami's temple so in uh, there is one hillock in pune called as parvati so shiva's parvati's uh, temple is there kartik swami's temple is also there so i remember as a child that we never went into that temple so that is one of that story i have told you so there are many stories in this with each ov and there is so much legend into that but few i know few i don't in the ones to say any other to thought these uh, and new can express i think it's a lot of introspection versus uh, about anger and uh, and you realize i mean it's just you know as the reading was going on you realize where how much have we tried to improve you full back also <laughs> so it's it's just that it's just constant practice and i also love this uh, in 141 um when uh, when he talks about one hobla it is a person who actually gives him trouble maybe considered as the crown so that was very beautiful and he crown on the head of liberation itself that was a very uh, very apt point of all that so it's only a man of realization you realize that gets to that stage long way to go yeah but good a uh, good thing to start because yes. it's only in this life we get a chance as a born as a human and now that we are born and there is no other bigger proof needed so i think this is the only chance we have and we should do it like that each time that we are okay thank god i've got <laughs> this but i can prepare that area of myself like that i think you have to be so aware with yourself because like okay i, I mean for myself when i speak i know being in satsang and all has helped a lot uh, but but then again when when you're reading this you realize you know there are so many where, places where that it, a small spark of irritation is enough that uh, builds that so it was very beautiful yes and it happens it happens my grandmother used to say in company Sita meet a khale and kopeta like that. Kopeta is like you get angry. Sita meet means the rice and the salt. If you are means one who eats the regular food with salt, <laughs> you will get angry like that. Uh, was her always saying. That means you have to be aware of what food you are eating, and if you are eating too much raza sick food like salty, pungent, too much like that. then you would get angry so then that geeta but we then know any geeta anything that time but that was her saying and, and especially when taking pickles and all she will say <laughs> to be few much any more thoughts any other now yeah, varsha ji i think uh, the 107 it is said that the lord of vaikuntha would come to reside in that ashram where visitors are worshiped as if they are brahmins so on the visitor part i think there's lot of emphasis which has been given yes like athiti devo bhava yeah so that is what i was thinking and uh, even 109 when a man is totally peaceful but is not proud about is the state is really the gods of the gods so that also is, is there honest? no that uh, doing action is also not enough but not being aware and gloat on that action is also needed means so much <laughs> oh, very beautiful loving it is she such lovely lines are there we chant something we do something and we feel up in any any the chat oh today i did this we no we feel immediately so good about it <laughs> any more thoughts thank you sir thank you so let's end the session meet on tomorrow 147 we have stopped we will start with the worst 10th verse tomorrow and then over 142
ಪೂರ್ಣಮದಸ್ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಬೃಭ್ರೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತು Hari Om everyone thank you so much for joining see you all tomorrow Hari Om thank you thank you thank you thank you Shadi thank you see you